Next, we're going to get right into The Undertaker and what we were talking about with him. Uh, do you guys want to see The Undertaker compete in the WWE anymore at this point is a uh, question that a lot of people are wondering. There's rumors of, is this guy retired? What's going to happen with him? And I wanted to get your thoughts on that. And we'll start with Luke once again. Well, obviously, we've seen that he's doing like StarCast 2, which is obviously very pushed by AEW uh, and Comrade Thompson. So that is very strange to me that that is happening. However, I think that would be such a shame if the last thing we've seen of Taker was that horrendous match um, that he had at uh, whatever it was called, uh, the Saudi Arabia show, Crown Jewel. But the I think... We need to see him have a proper goodbye. The, the the Roman Reigns hat in the ring thing was really touching. And although it wasn't a very good match, it was uh, Undertaker saying goodbye and a passing of the torch. And, and clearly he went away and, and thought that that wasn't good enough. So personally for me, if he didn't think that was good enough, he has a right in what he's done in wrestling to have a proper goodbye put someone over like you were supposed to with Roman Reigns, but maybe someone different, but actually have a decent match as well at the same time. And I think personally, the best person for that would be a demon Finn Balor, because when we get to see the demon, you could have a really cool build up the Phenom versus the demon. Um, it's, it's uh, someone small so that it looks a good matchup. It looks like uh, Finn Balor has to overcome the odds to defeat um, the legend that is Taker, and and that could be what the storyline is based on. Um, and if it had, if it isn't Finn Balor, then someone like Alistair Black, someone a call up uh, to the main roster, or you know, even just an NXT guy just having a match against Taker at Mania, just it's something different. And someone like Alistair Black, who's very dark and mysterious, um, and to have that match against Taker at Mania, uh, I think would work really well, personally. Those would be the two that I'd pick anyway. Um, but I think the the short answer is yes, we need to see him at least one more time at Mania to, to have a goodbye, I think, definitely. I definitely could uh, see something like that as we talk about The Undertaker here. Um, Malik, who do you have as far as The Undertaker <laughs> Um, do you want to see him compete anymore? Who do you want to see him face if you do want to see him compete? What do you got for me? Obviously, as, as wrestling fans, you know, we all have a mutual amount of respect for The Undertaker. You're talking about the greatest character in wrestling history. So, I mean, me personally, I wanted to see him retire a long time ago. You know, when he started, when his matches at WrestleMania started to kind of, you know, go downhill and he started to look kind of rough, especially against the Roman Reigns match, man, that was hard to watch. I felt, you know, like... I was to there me, live. <laughs> it, I just felt like, I, I mean, I respect the man for still having the passion to do it. And, you know, I respect him, everything he's done for wrestling. But when I was watching that match live, I just felt so bad for the man. Because he's like, you know, he just wants to, he's trying so hard to put on the best performance he can. And Roman Reigns is trying as hard as he can to carry him through everything. But he's just so, just injuries and everything. Just so, it was so bad. And. You know, obviously that match wasn't good enough for him to go out on, so he came back. And the Cena match last year was was way too short to even go out on. So, I, I if he came back for one more match, I would I would like to see him face Finn Balor. Up until now, he's the only one that ever said anything agree with me. I I've, I've been saying that to people. Demon versus uh, Dead Men Taker would be great. And people were saying like they you know that would be a terrible match, or whatever. But for Finn Balor's size, I think Finn Balor and Taker could could tell a great story, could put on a great show, and you know. Undertaker's going to do something big in his last match. He's going to do something big for the business. He's going to put somebody extremely over that he believes can be maybe a top guy in the, in the business. Um, we've seen him, you know, put Brock over at WrestleMania when the streak ended, put Roman over at WrestleMania. So he's going to go out in a big way. I don't know if it's going to be this year. There have been many times when we thought he's going to retire and then he comes back. So who really knows? Nobody really knows when he wants to retire except for him. But I think... Finn Balor would be the perfect opponent for him at WrestleMania. If not him, then John Cena. I mean, I thought, I th I thought that Cena should have retired him a long time ago. But if if he's gonna go out in a big way, I think I think Finn Balor would be the right way to do it. Demon versus versus Dead Man. Mm, that that's tough, man. Um, I know I got the Undertaker up while I say this. I wanted to uh, get my little two cents in while we were talking about this, guys. Um, before we go to Kevin's opinion with. The Undertaker, I feel like he hasn't been the same since WrestleMania 26. As bad as that may sound, I felt Shawn Michaels kind of carried him through that match. 
not to per se that the Undertaker couldn't do anything, but it looked like Taker was hurting. And Sean was like, listen, this is going to work. I got you. We're going to make this good because this is my last match. And I got you. 27, he took a lot of abuse in that one. 28, he still did all right. He hung in there, but that's when he started taking more time off. Uh, the match with Punk, Punk put him in there. Punk carried him to a good match. Lesnar, he didn't look good in that match, I thought. 31, he looked better because he took a lot of time off again. But then ever since like 32, eh, 33, oh, and then 34 was just an onslaught like slaughter. And I just don't know about The Undertaker anymore. And there's rumors of him retiring, going into the Hall of Fame. I like the Finn Balor idea, though, that both of you guys have brought up, though. That's very interesting. Kevin, who do you have? What do you think of this one? You want to still see Undertaker, or are you done with him? Well, first off, could you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. All right, beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I still want to see Undertaker because I don't want Undertaker's last match – to have been that crown jewel fiasco. I think there's a much, I think there's be a better way for him to go out. I think he's got at least one more mania match left in him. There's a very good one. I, I don't, I think on Alistair Black, I think they could tell a good story into a good match. I don't think there's any doubt about that. That's the torch and that, that, that sort of character from to, Alistair Black. Okay. So you think Alistair Black is the guy who could take over that spot? Is he better than Finn Balor, would you say? Uh, a personal... I, t I would take Balor personally. They, they both bring great things to the ring. And when Finn Balor is in mode, he might have the edge, actually. I just... A, wanted to be different from the rest of the – just, I, I don't know, I like the idea of an Undertaker and Aleister Black match. Okay. Foul, last but not least, my friend. Um, well, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, uh, I, I I really – I echo the sentiments of the panel, the rest of this panel. It's Bala versus Taker, Demon versus Deadman. That story's got so much in it already. You could bring in, say, like Jordan Devlin as like an acolyte of Bala. There's so many things that you could do with this. You could make it the last match he ever has and that passing of the torch. And I think that it's natural and it would seem very right as well. Um, but at the same time, I I, I don't want to see him have another match. Like I know I said that I'd like to have him have a match against Cena. I, I think that's I, – I, I kind of agree what you say, Conrad, since – that Michaels match, he hasn't really been the same. Um, he tries, he tries to do big spots and he tries to do it and he kind of works it on it. I'm going to do one match a year and I'm going to just, just like try and blow everything about else I've done out of the water. But uh, it might be time for him to just hang them up. And if he has one more match, I think I totally agree. It would be B uh, Bala, Alistair Black. Um, if, they could fix him, maybe Bray Wyatt. I know that that's a bit, maybe that's it, but give the rub to someone, leave the business, kind of pass on the urn 